。早晨，歡迎大家翻翻嚟我 Learn with Tommy 嘅教室，亦都係 A Level 嘅數學 Mathematics。今堂我哋會總結第七課嘅 Trigonometry Model 七點七節，就係 Mix the Exercise。大部分嘅 trigonometry formula 同埋 solving trigonometry function， 我哋喺七點一至到七點六已經講咗，所以今堂我哋最主要係做 exercise。我會為大家準備咗第一條、第二條、三、四、五、六、七、八同埋第九條 challenge 嘅題目，較為複雜少少。如果大家準備好嘅話，攞紙筆、計數機，我哋一齊努力。去完成第七課嘅總結。Question number one: Without using a calculator, find the values of sine 40 degree, cosine 10 degree, minus cosine 40 degree, sine 10 degree. You write down sine 40 degree, cosine 10 degree, minus cosine 40 degree, sine 10 degree. It's actually equal to sine. Forty degrees minus ten degrees is actually equal to sine thirty degrees, and sine thirty degrees is equal to a half. We done. Question one B, one over square root two, cosine fifteen degrees minus one over square root two, sine fifteen degrees. Write down one over square root two. Cosine fifteen degrees minus one over square root two sine fifteen degrees is actually equal to square root two over two cosine fifteen degrees minus square root two over two sine fifteen degrees is actually equal to sine forty five degrees cosine fifteen degrees. Minus cosine forty-five degrees, sine fifteen degrees, is actually equal to sine forty-five degrees minus fifteen degrees, is equal to sine thirty degrees, and is equal to half as well. And one c, one minus tangent fifteen degrees, and one plus tangent fifteen degrees. If we have tangent forty-five degree is equal to tangent thirty degrees plus fifteen degree, is equal to tangent thirty degrees plus tangent fifteen degrees over one minus tangent thirty degrees fifteen degree, and actually. Tangent forty-five degree is equal to one, and then tangent thirty degrees is equal to square root three over three plus tangent fifteen degree over one minus square root three over three, and then tangent fifteen degrees, and we cross multiplication together. We got one minus square root three. Over three, tangent fifteen degrees is equal to square root three over three plus tangent fifteen degree, and we multiply three by each part. We got three minus square root three tangent fifteen degrees equal to square root three plus three tangent fifteen degrees. And we take all the tangent terms into the left hand side. We have minus square root three minus three multiplied by tangent fifteen degrees is equal to square root three minus three. Therefore, tangent fifteen degree is equal to three minus square root three over square root three plus. Three. Finally, we want to get the values of one minus tangent fifteen degrees over one plus tangent fifteen degrees. We have one minus three minus square root three square root three plus three over one 
plus 3 minus square root 3 over square root 3 plus 3. We multiply the numerator and the denominators by square root 3 plus 3. We have square root 3 plus 3 minus 3 plus square root 3. And we have square root 3 plus 3 plus 3 minus square root 3. And we get this cancel out minus we got 2 square root 3 on the top and then it's over to this one is cancel out over by 6. So we got square root 3 over 3. This is the answer of this 1 minus tangent 15 degree and 1 plus tangent 15 degree. Question number 2 in the triangle ABC. AB equal to 5 cm, AC equal to 4 cm, angle ABC, ABC, this angle is equal to theta minus 30 degree, and angle ACB, ACB is equal to theta plus 30 degree. Using the side rule, show that tangent theta is equal to 3 times square 3. With the side rule, we have 4 is 4, over sine theta minus 30 degrees is equal to 5 here over sine of this angle theta plus 30 degree. So we got 4 times sine theta plus 30 degree equal to 5 sine theta minus 30 degrees. And we express this out we got sine theta cosine 30 degree plus cosine theta sine 30 degrees equal to 5 multiplied by sine theta cosine 30 degree minus cosine theta sine 30 degree. So we have 4 cosine 30 degree is square root 3 over 2 sine theta and then sine 30 degrees is half cosine theta equal to 5 cosine 30 degree is square root 3 over 2 sine theta minus sine 30 degrees is a half cosine Theta. We multiply the force into it, so we got 2 square root 3 sine theta plus 2 cosine theta equal to 5 square root 3 over 2 sine theta minus 5 over 2 cosine theta. We take all the sides to the left hand side, we got 4 square root 3 over 2 this square root 3 over 2 is minus 5 square root 3 over 2 to the side theta and then for on the right hand side we have minus 5 minus 4 over 2 cosine theta so we have square root 3 side theta is to be minus equal to minus 9 cosine theta. So we take sine theta is equal to minus 9 over minus square root 3 cosine theta. We have sine theta equal to minus 9 over minus square root 3 cosine theta. We take the cosine theta to the left hand side as well. So we have sine theta divided by cosine theta is equal to 9 over square root 3. That means tangent theta is equal to 9 over square root 3. And we multiply the numerator and the denominator by square root 3. We got 9 square root 3 over 3. So we got 3 to the square root 3. We prove. 
Question number three. Given that size x cosine y equal to half, and cosine x size y equal to one third, so that size x plus y equal to five size x minus y. Given also that tangent y equal to k, expect in terms of k, tangent x, and tangent two x. For the a parts, we have the left hand side is size x plus y equal to side x cosine y plus cosine x side y. Side x cosine y is half, and cosine x size y is one third. So half plus one third equal to five over six. And from the right hand side, we have side x minus y multiplied by 5. We got 5 outside here. We express side x cosine y minus cosine x side y is equal to 5 multiplied by size cosine y is half. And cosine x size y is one third, so it's minus one third. So it's five multiplied by one over six is five over six. So it's equal to the left hand side. So we have proved that the side x plus y is equal to five multiplied by side x minus y. And if tangent y equal to k, we want to find in terms of k, the tangent of x. So b part, tangent y equal to k. So psi x cosine y equal to half. Cosine x psi y equal to one third. And we have cosine y equal to one over two psi of x. And psi y equal to 1 over 3 cosine x. If we divide psi y by cosine y, we have tangent y and we have k here. And this equal to 1 over 3 cosine x divided by 1 over 2 psi x is equal to 1 divided by 3 cosine x multiplied by 2 sine x divided by 1. So we have here k equal to 2 sine x 3 cosine x is equal to 2 over 3 tangent x. So we take this 2 over 3 to the left hand side we got tangent x is equal to 3k over 2. And c -pax, we want to find tangent 2x. So tangent 2x is equal to 2 tangent x over by 1 minus tangent square x is equal to 2 times 3 k over 2 over 1 minus 3 k over 2 to the square. So in the upper side we have 3 k and in the denominator part we have 1 minus 9 k square over 4. We multiply the numerator and the denominator by 4 so we have 12 k over 4 minus 9 k squared. This is tangent to x. Question number 4. Given that square root 3 side 2 theta plus 2 side square theta equal to 1. And we show that tangent 2 theta is equal to 1 over square root 3. So we have square root 3 side 2 theta plus 2 side square theta equal to 1. And we have square root 3 psi 2 theta equal to 1 minus 2 psi square theta. Square root 3 psi 2 theta, 1 minus 2 psi square theta is equal to cosine 2 theta. 
and we divide both sides by cosine 2 theta. We take this to the right hand side, we got 1 over square root 3 here. So it's tangent 2 theta is equal to 1 over square root 3. We proved. And we solve for theta from 0 to pi, the equation of square root 3 size 2 theta plus 2 size square theta equal to 1. That means we solve for tangent 2 theta equal to 1 over square root 3. So tangent 2 theta is equal to square root 3 over 3. Is 2 theta equal to pi over 6. When theta is from 0 to pi, 2 theta is from 0 to 2 pi. Therefore, we have 2 theta is equal to pi over 6, or 2 theta equal to 7 pi over 6. That means we have theta is equal to pi over 12, or 7 pi over 12. These two answers of theta. Proof by counter example that the statement secant a plus b equal to secant a plus secant b for all a and b is 4. So we let a equal to 60 degree and b is equal to 0 degree. So we have secant a plus b is equal to secant 60 degree plus 0 degree is equal to secant 60 degree equal to 1 over cosine 60 degree is 2. And we break it together so we have secant A is equal to secant 60 degree is equal to 1 over cosine 60 degree is equal to 2. And secant of B is equal to secant of 0 degree equal to 1 over cosine 0 degree is equal to 1. So we add them together, secant A plus secant B is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. This is not equal to secant A plus B. We prove that secant A plus B equal to secant A plus secant B is false. It's not true. B part, we prove that tangent theta plus cotangent theta is equal to 2 cosecant 2 theta, where theta is not equal to n pi over 2, and n is belong to z. So we have tangent theta plus cotangent theta is equal to psi theta over cosine theta plus cosine theta over psi theta. This means psi square theta plus cosine square theta over cosine theta psi theta is equal to 1 over psi theta cosine theta. This is true if theta is not equal to n pi over 2 because theta is equal to n pi over 2 psi theta or cosine theta will come to 0 and this is undefined. So this is true if theta is not equal to n pi over 2 for all n belong to z. That means this is 1 over half of psi 2 theta. That means it's 2 cosecant 2 theta. So we prove this one is equal to this one. Question number 6. Using tangent 2 theta equal to 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent square theta, where an appropriate values of theta show that the tangent pi over 8 equal to square root 2 minus 1. So we have tangent 2 pi over 8 is equal to 2 tangent pi over 8 over by 1 minus tangent square pi over 8. And then we have tangent 2 pi over 8 is 1 equal to 2 tangent 
pi over 8 over 1 minus tangent square pi over 8. And we let tangent pi over 8 equal to t. So we got here 1 equal to 2t over 1 minus t square. We have 1 minus t square equal to 2t. So we have minus t square minus 2t plus 1 equals 0. t square plus 2t minus 1 equals 0. Solve for t square plus 2t minus 1 equals 0. We have t equal to minus 2 plus and minus square root 2 square plus 4 over 2. And we have t is equal to minus 2 plus square root 8 over 2 is equal to minus 2 plus 2 square root 2 over 2 is equal to divided by 2 cancel is out is equal to minus 1 plus square root 2 is square root 2 minus 1. So we get the solution here. And then the B part used the results in A to find the exact values of tangent 3 pi over 8. So tangent 3 pi over 8 is equal to tangent 2 pi over 8 plus pi over 8. is equal to tangent 2 pi over 8 plus tangent pi over 8 divided by 1 minus tangent 2 pi over 8, tangent pi over 8. And tangent 2 pi over 8 is equal to 1, so we have 1 plus tangent pi over 8 over 1 minus tangent pi over 8. And tangent pi over 8 is equal to square root 2 minus 1, so we have 1 plus square root 2 minus 1 and 1 minus square root 2 plus 1. In here, cancels the 1 and minus 1 out. We got square root 2 over 2 minus square root 2. We multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 plus square root 2. So we have square root 2 multiplied by 2 plus square root 2. At the denominator, we got 2 to the square is 4, minus 2 here. Because this one is square is 2, minus 2 here. So we have 2 square root 2 plus 2 over 2. We cancel the uh, square root 2 out. We have square root 2 plus 1. We got the answer of tangent 3 pi over 8 is equal to square root 2 plus 1. Question 7a, proof that cosine 2 theta to the power 4 minus sine 2 theta to the power 4 is equal to cosine 4 theta. So we got cosine 2 theta to the power 4 minus sine 2 theta to the power 4 is equal to cosine 2 theta to the power 2 minus sine 2 theta to the power 2 multiply by cosine 2 theta to the power 2 plus sine 2 theta to the power 2. And then this one cosine 2 theta to the power 2 plus sine 2 theta square is equal to 1. So we have cosine 2 theta power 2 minus sine 2 theta to the power 2 multiplied by 1 here. And if we have cosine 2 theta square minus sine 2 theta square, is equal to cosine 4 theta. So we proved. And B parts 5 for theta is equal to 0 to 180 degrees. All the solutions of cosine 2 theta to the power 4 minus sine 2 theta to the power 4 equal to half. So we got here is cosine 2 theta to the power 4 minus sine 2 theta to the power 4 equal to half. That means we have cosine 4 theta equal to half. 
that means 4 fetus is equal to 60 degree. And if theta is from 0 to 180 degree, so 4 theta is from 0 to 720 degree. So we have 4 theta is equal to 60 degree, 300 degree, 420 degrees, or 660 degree. That means theta is equal to 15 degree because we divide by 4 here. So we got theta equal to 15 degree, 75 degree, 105 degree, or 165 degree. This is all the solution of theta. And question number 8 proves that the identity cosine 2 theta plus cosine 4 theta over sine 2 theta minus sine 4 theta is equal to minus cotangent theta. This one is more challenging. So we have sine 3 theta minus theta is equal to sine 2 theta is equal to sine 3 theta cosine theta minus cosine 3 theta sine theta. And if we put it in another way, once is 3 theta plus theta is equal to sine 4 theta. That means it's sine 3 theta cosine theta plus cosine 3 theta sine theta. So we have sine 2 theta minus sine 4 theta is the denominator part here. We get sine 3 theta cosine theta minus cosine 3 theta sine theta minus sine 3 theta cosine theta minus cosine 3 theta sine theta. Psi 3 theta cosine 3 theta minus this one cancel out. So we got minus 2 cosine 3 theta psi theta for the denominator part. And for the numerator part, we have cosine 2 theta is equal to cosine 3 theta minus theta. It's equal to cosine 3 theta cosine theta plus psi 3 theta psi theta and cosine 4 theta is equal to cosine 3 theta plus theta is equal to cosine 3 theta cosine theta minus psi 3 theta psi theta therefore cosine 2 theta plus cosine 4 theta is equal to cosine 3 theta cosine theta plus sine 3 theta sine theta plus cosine 3 theta cosine theta minus sine 3 theta sine theta here and this one, this two is cancelled out, so we got cosine 3 theta, cosine theta, multiplied by 2. Therefore, if we have cosine 2 theta plus cosine 4 theta over sine 2 theta minus sine 4 theta, we have here is 2 cosine 3 theta cosine theta over minus 2 cosine 3 theta psi theta. This one over this one. So the 2 is cancelled out, the cosine 3 theta cancelled out, so we have minus cosine theta over psi theta is equal to minus cotangent theta. We proved the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And then in part B, we have cosine x plus 2 cosine 3x plus cosine 5x 
proof that is equal to 4 cosine square x cosine 3x. So we have cosine 5x here is equal to cosine 3x plus 2x. It's equal to cosine 3x cosine 2x minus sine 3x sine 2x. And cosine x is equal to cosine 3x minus 2x. It's equal to cosine 3x cosine 2x plus sine 3x sine 2x. So in here we have from the left hand side we have cosine 5x plus cosine x plus 2 cosine 3x. That means we substitute these two into cosine 5x and cosine x we got cosine 5x is cosine 3x cosine 2x minus sine 3x sine 2x. Add up cosine 3x cosine 2x. Add this one plus sine 3x sine 2x. And add this one, this one as well, so plus 2 cosine 3x. This one and this one's cancel out, so we have cosine 3x, cosine 2x here. Multiply by 2 because this one at this one is 2 and plus 2 cosine 3x. So we have we take the 2 cosine 3x out, we got 2 cosine 3x. This one is cosine 2x plus 1. Okay, cosine 2x is equal to 2 cosine square x minus 1 plus 1 here. So it's minus 1 plus 1 cancel out. So we got 2 cosine 3x multiplied by 2 cosine square x. So we got 4 cosine square x cosine 3x. So it's equal to the right hand side. Let's go to the right hand side. So we prove these two identity is equal. Question number nine is the most challenging question in this exercise. The point ABC lies on a circle. ABC lies on a circle with the center O. This O is the center of the circle. And the radius equal to one is radius from A to O is equal to 1. AC is the diameter of the circle. AC is the diameter of the circle. And point D lies on OC. Point C D here is lies on OC. Such that ODB equal to 90 degree. ODB is equal to 90 degree. We want to prove psi 2 feet is equal to 2 psi feet cosine feeder. So as the angle OAB is equal to angle OBA is equal to feeder. The angle OAB equal to feeder and OBA is also equal to feeder because this one is equal to this one. So this two is equal to feeder as well. So we have the angle AOB is equal to pi minus 2 theta. This one is equal to pi minus 2 theta. So this one is equal to 2 theta, right? So we have angle BOD is equal to 2 theta. BOD is equal to 2 theta. And then OB is equal to 1. OB is equal to 1 here. And OD is equal to cosine 2 theta. We got cosine 2 theta, this one is divided by this one. So we got OD is equal to cosine 2 theta. We got BD is equal to sine 2 theta. And BD here is equal to sine of 2 theta. So AB is equal to 2 cosine theta. And AB 
is equal to 2 cos theta. Why that? Because if we draw a line here perpendicular to this here, we got this one, uh, let this point to be F. So AF plus FB is equal to AB, and AF is equal to cos theta. So FB also cos theta. So 2 cos theta is equal to AB. And then we got sine theta is equal to BD divided by AB. Sine theta here is equal to BD divided by AB. What is BD? We got BD here it's divided by AB. AB is 2 cos theta. So BD is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. This is BD. BD is also equal to sine 2 theta. These two should be equal. Therefore, so we got sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. We proved. Okay. And then in the B part, we want to prove cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1. We got AB is equal to 2 cos theta. From the last part, we got AB is equal to 2 cos theta. And AO is equal to 1. AO is the radius of the circle, so it's equal to 1. And AD is equal to 2 cos theta cos theta. Because cos theta is equal to AD over AB. This is AB. So AD is equal to cos theta multiplied by 2 cos theta. It's equal to 2 cos square theta. This is AD. And how about OD? OD here. OD is AD minus 1 here, right? So OD is AD. What is AD? AD is this one. So AD minus AO is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1. We got AD is 2 cos square theta minus 1. And also we got OD is equal to cos 2 theta. From this triangle here, we got OD is equal to cos 2 theta. That means these two is to be equal. Therefore, we got cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1. We proved these two identity is equal. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a private tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one eight five two six five nine two eight six zero nine. 好多謝大家收聽我這個影片。如果你希望你的 你可以隨時contact我的,令到你的DSC exam或者你想考SAT,你也可以contact我,因為我都有一些私人的補習在這兩方面的。多謝大家,thank you,bye bye,muchas gracias。